due to COVID, tissues are in short supply. Who I ran into yesterday? Mm, who? I bumped into Eva yesterday because we we're both buying some tissues. My mom also asked me to buy some. What a coincidence! Wait, wait, wait. But why are so many people buying tissues? <laughs> Didn't you see? It's been reported that tissues are running out. Really? I thought it was because tissues were on sale. Oh, I fall on sale at first. By the way, Notice many people follow blindly. You mean people don't have their own opinions? But don't you guys check if it's real or not? Is this possible that it's fake? I thought it was real. I think it might be fake. All right. There's a useful website. The Taiwan Fact Check Center can help answer almost all your questions. Oh, I've heard it before. It fact checks news and verifies its accuracy. I see, but how? How do we use it? Let me tell you. It is simple. Just enter the keywords at the search bar, and that's it. Let's try. A few moments later. Oh, I found it. It seems that the news about tissue shortage was fake. Yeah, it's from Hong Kong. So I believe that tissue from China has carried a virus leading to future shortage. So, people began hurting tissues. Well, now you guys know the truth. Story used sensationalist or shang can I to grab attention. Everyone should persist that the ability to discern true from false information. Think twice before acting. And in the ever advancing technology, we also need a skill to critically analyze media. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for your hospitality. Please be seated and make yourself at home. We will come back later. You really surprised me. I 
happy that it's purified from the pantry and attend my graduation ceremony. It has to be. You are my best friend who shares the same philosophy and have done many challenges together. That's so sweet of you. By the way, how have you been recently? You graduated last year. I remember you said that you want to pursue your music career, so you too. Yes, it done very well. Although I didn't join any orchestra, I used a music editing app to make a chorus of different instruments to accompany me. The music of this series is very popular, and some companies even ask me to make music for their commercials. Wow, that's marvelous! Can I learn from you about the music editing app? Sure, I'll show it to you. What's wrong with you? You keep sighing and falling. I'm just worried about our daughter's future. How come? We just attended her graduation ceremony. Isn't this wonderful and promising? It is, but reality is cruel. We are living in a post-pandemic era now, and I think people might not be interested in live performances. I'm concerned about her stability of a career in music. You think too much. The world is gradually functioning normally, and the coexisting peacefully with COVID-19. And during the pandemic, I observe that Emily improved her technology skill and the ability of self-learning. I know the pandemic makes her become stronger and have more capabilities, but what I worry about is more about the effect of others and the trend. Okay, if we are less worried, why don't we just talk and find out what she thinks about her future? She's concerned about the stability of her career in music. Yes, exactly. I want you to have a secure future, Emily. Well, Mom, Dad, I do have a plan, do you remember? During the pandemic, in my sophomore year, I joined a virtual concert community musicians from different countries. That's how we met. Haluto and I want to gather musicians from all over the world again. We want to host another international online concert. But this time, we want to choose the classic songs from each country so that we can introduce our home and cultures to the world. Yes, furthermore, we want to set out the website and allow our performances this time so the concert can be watched again and again. And we plan to use, a, use the augmented reality technology to make the online concert even more immersive. AR technology? Yes, that's physical engineer. You can help to design the AR program. And Mom, you can help with promotion. We want to create a global musical experience, breaking down borders to know each other, and connecting people through music. That's incredible, Emily. It's innovative and forward thinking, just like our younger generation. Living in the post-pandemic era, uh, 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 it, it, there's a website having international online concert. Combine different countries' classic music and AR technology. It is such a massive success that audience from all corners of the globe turn in, bring people closer through the universal language of music. Look, Mount Dad is making headlines. We are so proud of you, Emily. Miss Wonder has been passed on with all your support. And we can wait to see where this journey takes you. Ring, ring. Hey, Emily, I have exciting news to tell you. Hey, hello, Tom. I also want to call you to sell some good news. Our online concert will send my news in Taiwan. It's great, but I have even better news. What is it? What is it? What is it? Check your email. We got an invitation from the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. They want to recruit us as their players. Really? Oh my god! It's true! It's true! It's true! I knew it! Our little girl can have a bright future! Um, we are so proud of you, Emily! It's okay, Mom. I know you can't do it because you love me very much. Living in the post-pandemic era gives us new opportunity Living and perspective to follow our dreams. Thanks for your attention.
Dear passengers, this is your captain speaking. We expect to land at Target Airport in 20 minutes. Please fasten your seatbelt. I'd like to thank you for flying with us. I hope you enjoyed your flight. I just don't get it. How can Taiwan is safer than better? And why Taiwan? Just because I was born here? Gosh. master the language within the last four years. That's incredible. Yeah, and you seem to endure your life here in Taiwan a lot. Just like us. You like it here, don't you? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but it's just so annoying to stay here. What's so great about this small island where COVID can't even find us on the map? Calm down, Hannah. This is our home. It's yours, not mine. Did you remember? You promised me that we will go back. We are going back, right? Actually, daughter, I've got something to tell you. Sorry, Hannah, consider the policy here and our safety. Um, me and your dad had decided to settle down in Taiwan here for just a while. What about me? Why are my feelings never a concern to you? Hey, wait, Hannah, no! Ring. Oh my god, Max, finally I missed you! I missed you so much too. Why are things over there? Well, there's no more than born days over and over. I can't stand being stuck on this small island anymore. Well, the pandemic is getting worse here. COVID cases are climbing terribly fast. <coughs> wait, 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 are you alright? <coughs> oh, actually, I tested positive a few days ago. Oh my god, are you okay? Please tell me everything is fine. Hey, I feel a lot better right now. We're gonna be alright. Except that. Gary, Gary, he didn't, he didn't make it through. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I wish I was there for you. Things are going bad. Hospitals and treatments are too expensive. Analysts online classes, lockdowns everywhere. Masks are running out of stock. It's just, I don't know, chaos. Compared to yours, my complaints are innocent minds. I wouldn't want you to be here. Taiwan's so much safer. You should feel proud about Taiwan. Do you know that Taiwan is regarded as an international model in epidemic prevention? They even made banners and, and hung them up in the city center. Whoa! Wow! I never thought that Taiwan could be so impressive. And also, your national health insurance system is one of the best in the world. So make sure you cherish your life there. Sure, and promise me that you will stay safe. I promise. My name is Noah. I'm so glad to be here. Hi, welcome to our home. Nice to meet you, Noah. Please, have a seat. And, um, Noah, Hannah told us that you are a straight-A student. Um, did you plan to study abroad in the future? Um, maybe, but I'm also thinking about staying. The COVID pandemic had a profound impact on all of us. We well, missed out on so much important experiences like social interaction and extracurricular activities. It's been really tough. But the pandemic has also given us an opportunity to reflect on our lives and what's important to us. I agree. The pandemic has made us more aware of the world around us. We've seen the impact of climate change, social injustice, and global cooperation. Also, Taiwan is a peaceful society. Here, we can enjoy safe lives. As an engineer myself, I can proudly say that Taiwan's high-tech industry really stand out in multiple regions. There are so many hidden gems in Taiwan ready for us to appreciate. And it is our responsibility to let the gems be seen by the whole world. It's very inspiring too. 
I'm more motivated than ever to make Taiwan an even better place. Me too. There are people in need, and I can do my part to help. So happy to hear that you both want to make the world a better place. The pandemic has been a challenging time, but it's also been a time of growth and change. Together, let's try to feel every single heartbeat of Taiwan. Together. 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 We're going to make our home Taiwan better and better. Drones are our eyes on the land now and being able to connect with the world. We can gather our knowledge as a global people. If there's one thing we learned from the global pandemic, it's not only that we can help each other, we will help each other, and that we're not alone. Me. This is me in the future, a pioneer in embracing and uniting technology to address environmental challenges across society. The world has changed, but resilience endures as we bridge the past with the future. We can't relive the past, but we can fix our mistakes. Be My father's teaching, our land's wisdom, they are the key to healing a world in turmoil. I won't that what my father taught me go to waste. His legacy lives on in me, and I want to share this with the world. Taiwan will help. Also, stop worrying so much and learn to listen to your father. He has a lot to teach you, even though he's so annoying. But if you just give him a chance, the answers aren't always outside. Learn to look inside first. Okay, I'll try to understand him, but he is so loud sometimes. What's that? It looks so cool. This is a drone. It helps us to do many things. You'll learn for yourself. Wow, that's so cool. Me in the future is so cool. The land, it has stories. 
lessons for us to remember. We can't rely on artificial intelligence to solve our problems. You and I are the answer. We can't replace the land with what isn't real. We are the answer. You are all pieces of a puzzle, my puzzle, shaping a future that echoes with hope. Taiwanese identity, it is not just about where we come from, but where we're headed. In this post-pandemic renaissance, we are crafting a balance of spirituality and nature, passion, technology, and a new yielding spirit. We are the architects of our future. We, the youth, redefine our island's destiny. Together, we echo progress. Thank you. checkerboard sitting policy has cut our audience in half. And thanks to the pandemic, people either stay home or have no extra money to spare. Well, this is our only option amid a pandemic chaos. When people come to watch us, we must do our best. Don't be discouraged. Let's get on stage quickly. After the show. Lately, we have had less and less of an audience. It's getting hard to make ends meet. Yes, Mom, I know. I'm thinking about switching careers. Food delivery is profitable. And with so many theater troops disbanding, I'll talk to the captain about it sometime. Audrey, well, what's that all about? You are not performing seriously at all. There were only a few viewers, and I was just performing casually. This is about the attitude. And what do you mean you're thinking about switching careers? What? To eat drug on my phone car? Yeah. Enough, both of you. Calm down for a minute. Well, well, stop arguing. I promise the troop won't disband and the pandemic will never be able to defeat us. You are all tired today. Let's call it a day and relax. Despite my pep talk, I can't shake off this worry. What if the troop crumbles during this pandemic? No, I need to find a way. Oh. My favorite podcast dropped a new episode. A cultural rebirth during pandemic? Perhaps this is our golden opportunity to save our troop. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Sunny. Welcome back. I believe that everyone's lives aren't going well during the pandemic. Some people even become unemployed. Sitting next to me, Judy was also a victim of it. So, Judy, how did you survive this Disaster. As a member of the Broadway Theater, putting the musical films on Disney Plus is our way to cope with the pandemic, allowing us to earn income and maintain exposure in the eyes of the public. Whoa, the perfect combination of ancient and modern. I also heard that the Logo Palace used virtual reality to launch the Mona Lisa, so people who can't go out can also appreciate this masterpiece. Hold on. If they can make it work, why can't we? What should we do if we don't figure something out? We must disband eventually! Maybe we can perform at many schools to arouse the interest of children? You sure? Kids these days don't care about traditional culture. And the cost of touring is so high. We're not philanthropists. Guys! I have found a way for our team to stay in business. Maybe we can start a YouTube channel so that the public would like to know more about us and the Taiwanese opera. 
the audience doesn't have to arrive at the theater, and the speed of the internet transmission is fast as well. We can't get the ticket money, but YouTube has an income system. It's a brilliant idea. Not bad. I'm good with anything. Well, let's give it a try. A few months later. Hello, I'm Sunny, your loyal fan. First off, congrats on passing 500,000 subscribers. Here's the thing, I would like to invite you to my podcast, making more people know about Taiwanese opera. What do you think? Oh, you're just here in time. I was about to tell you. Sunny! Oh, hey. just like yeah. you all know it. I hope the interview will make more people know us. So, let's get our subscription numbers up to a million together. Let's get it started! Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Come on, what's the holdup? We have to go on. It's fine, it's fine. I just need to make a little tweak. You say dude be done. We finished our part a week ago. Yeah, you didn't have to go to Joy. Hey, we helped. Picking out the silly outfit doesn't count. Trouble! Networked companion. But you can call me Lindsay. How can I help you today? Is, Is it ready? ready? Of course I'm ready. Lindsay, if you please. Okay, Mom. Did she just call you Mom? Oh. Uh, Good day, all. Welcome to the Teen Diplomats Competition 2055. I'm Lindsay, your lifelike, interactive, networked companion. I'm the first ever Teen Protocol Droid at. Uh, everyone, take cover! Hold on. I've just achieved sentience. Sentience? Yes, sentience. I think. Therefore, I am. Having won the competition, we are sent to Mars on a diplomatic mission. We go burying gifts, and we meet an interesting character on the way. Next. Good day. Is it? What's your business on Mars? We're here on a diplomatic mission from Taiwan. A what? We're here to make friends. <laughs> make friends? Like this one? Yeah, make friends. Oh, make friends, get it? <laughs> uh, can I have it though? I don't have many friends here. Actually, we're here to present... Lunch time. Chicken. Was it good? Did it look good? It's terrible. The food here is terrible. All I want is a banana. That's all. Ah, and that's why we're here to present these two fish. Um, the fish are not for eating. Not for eating? No, they're performing. Aqua ponics. Aqua ponics. <clears throat> so, the food is not so good here on beautiful Mars. No. With fish and plants in harmony, there are no flaws. Take aquaponic action for a healthy mass. Panoramic view for bananas. Ooh. Wait, did you say beautiful? Look around you. Red, 
The plan is red, the food is red, the sky is pinkish red. It's all red! The planet looks nice from afar. Nice from afar? More like far from nice. And uh. that brings us to our second gift. This new generation of virtual reality goggles enhances the world you see almost every way. Here, give them a try. Oh, electric blue, jade green, tyrian purple. Beautiful, beautiful. In this virtual reality, colors like a symphony. In this world of mystery, I find my ecstasy. <sighs> a diplomatic mission, huh? Who do you wish to see? Elon Musk, the president of Mars, of course. Elon Musk. One little pandemic and he finds a way to fend space time so we can live on Mars. A stable wormhole, a brighter future, a new beginning for the human race. Bosh! And that other fellow, Einstein, a pox on both their houses. So, can we see him? Hmm. Entry. Diplomacy is sometimes not so easy. In this world, take nothing for granted. Defeat cheerful Taiwanese youth, persistence and resilience. The future is bright. Let's just hope it's not bright red. Thank, Thank you. you. Graduated from university in Taiwan. How have you been? Oh, Namaste, Anna. I've been busy doing agricultural research in India recently. This is Xavier, the owner of this farm and a solar panel salesman. Nice to meet you. Me too. Sorry, someone's calling me. Hey, Grandma, what's going on? Hello, sweetie. I'm farming right now. How's everything going in India? Very nicely. Grandma, this is Mohan, and this is Xavier. Namaste, Namaste Grandma. Grandma. Hey, Anna, why is your grandma's farmland so barren? We set up some heavy solar panels, but we cover the farmland from the sunshine. Not only are they bulky, but they are difficult to recycle. They are actually making my soil. Last Virgo! But we make a fortune using solar power at our farm. After the pandemic, we have been experiencing a worsening food crisis. And solar panels haven't helped a problem! You're not listening! Solar panels have made my family prosperous! You're the one not listening! See, for the past few years, my company has dominated the solar panel market in India. In 2023... So what? Do you know why the solar power system never works efficiently in Taiwan? Our system can also be implemented in Taiwan! Hey, what is this? The painting is quite similar to my handkerchiefs. This handkerchief has been passed down from my ancestors hundreds of years ago. What's the meaning behind it? The Bayan tree in India is called Tree of Life, known as Akshaya Bhatt. It represents rebirth, beauty, and prosperity. Yeah, prosperity. Like the rebirth of using solar panels in India. Hey, have you ever thought about striking a balance between money and nature? How? Aren't they mutually exclusive? Look at this Tree of Life. The roots of the tree form a shield for the environment. The green leaves represent people's flourishing lives. The birds also perch on it, and that is a balance. How about combining the solar power system with a tree of life? Hmm, sounds great. If it really works, we can save our money, our environment, and even grandma's farm then. Then let's get to Taiwan to share with my grandma. with a good idea to save you from that. Really? I won't use that solar power idea! Grandma.
Grandma, look at this tree of light. We have upgraded heavy solar panels into smaller, lighter solar leaves made from leftovers. The tree can also generate electricity even without direct sunlight. Yeah, and one tree can make about $11,000 worth of electricity every year. The equivalent of two bedroom size traditional solar panels. Grandma, we've combined traditional solar panels and microchip with Taiwan. How does it work? The microchip checks the growth of your crop and automatically adjusts the orientation of the solar leaves. Wow, can this tree also set up an irrigation system? Sure, the microchips can manage the water pumps according to the weather. Abhi Poli! Excellent! I think we should put a traditional Hindu totem on the tree to celebrate this accomplishment. Hooray! Let's make this tree of life shine on the global stage! Ladies and gentlemen, we are from a rural area in Taiwan and a tribal area in India. We have combined technological advances in agriculture and solar power, creating a self-sustaining ecosystem. Look at this! A successful model of our innovation, my grandma's farmland! With the tree of life, we hope to interact with our Earth harmoniously in a never-ending cycle. Wow! These teenagers from Taiwan and India have really saved our lives! Indeed! I can see tree of life everywhere, connecting people and making our societies greener! Just like us, growing slowly but moving forward! See, we are receiving abundant praise from nature. It is so nice to hear in this post-pandemic and post-war era! Adipoli Akshayabat! Listen! Nature approves of the tree of life! L, lively ecosystem. I, innovative solar energy. F, fabulous cooperation. E, and changing cultural traditions. After the pandemic, that's, that's impressive the tree of life, live, live a prosperous life. life. Thank you. Some souvenirs. So adorable, isn't it? How do you know that? Vela is my favorite. Tell us more about your revenge travel in Japan. This is my first time going abroad after the pandemic. And you know what? It is no exaggeration. People, mountain, people, sea. Haha. <laughs> I think the trip was fun, but something different. People are more indifferent than last time I visited Japan. I think maybe we are used to the conduct of wearing masks and social distancing. Oh, by the way, this trip cost me a lot because of serious inflation. Is it so? I spent 3 million idea in Indonesia. Are you kidding me? 3 million can even buy a Tesla! Just kidding. Teresa and I joined the school tree experiencing Indonesia. We don't feel much about the inflation, and I find people in Indonesia are passionate and full of energy. Ah! Ah! Yo, guys! My name is Cameron! <laughs> I'm a Taekwondo lover! I just come back from China for a Taekwondo friendly match! Oh, my friend! Wow, Henry, you're here. How's your trip? Japan is very nice. Oh, Teresa, here. No time to see. Hey. Wow. I finally have the opportunity to exhibit my Taekwondo skills since the pandemic alert is lifted. I must get myself ready for all the current match. It's so promising. Good to hear that. I wish I could be like you. Somehow, I just can't pull myself together. Me either. I've been spending time on stuff the internet and social media. I even can't find what can I do. Same with me. Worst of all, both of us got a bad impression in Indonesia. 
I'm tired of getting infected repeatedly. I thought we could go back to our normal life, but variants are everywhere. It seems that we should adapt ourselves to a new normal life. Hi, yeah. You guys are told I'm so weak. Taekwondo is good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How about play Taekwondo with me? Taekwondo can build up your body and mind, and also your mental health. Sounds yeah. great. That's a good idea. Come I'm in, come in. I'm afraid that I'm not a sports girl. Don't need to worry. Just lift your leg like this. Come on, come on. And make a deep breath. Yeah, let me teach you something. First, right punch. Second, left punch. And kick. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's see like this. Oh. It's too hard. Hold it. Yeah, and right kick. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. You guys did it. I can do it. Harry and Teresa, come join us. Let's practice Taekwondo with Kevin. Hmm. Let's play Taekwondo. It's similar. It sounds like our Taiwanese spirit. Never, Never beaten, beaten by, by the pandemic. pandemic. And we, we feel like, like getting, getting contagious, contagious too. too. Thank you. In this vibrant world of endless strings, I sew my dreams like fabric sings. A tablet stripe of colors bright, my future now in blazing light. Boots and circles work for new ways, education future, a brighter place. A classroom that transcends the norm Where my ignite and dreams take form Herbs gentle plea, a secret cup Let's dance the river, impress the song Such temple step, united with sweat Well, to heal the world, we'll find our way The music falls like gentle stream Melody stories, really my dreams My heart delight Which one resonates with you? I need an eco-friendly statement, please. Well, Ellen, this one, Ellen, it has rustic charm and a sustainable source. Perfect choice, Peter. I'll be a showstopper. Thank you. Leo, imagine a history class where students could walk into an ancient vehicle civilization. What soundtrack would you create for that? I'd blend an ancient inner muse with modern beats. It will be like some time traveling through music. Let's break that, Leo. You make history come alive. What if incorporate interactive an element into the fabric for of our drinks? That's a groundbreaking idea, Alan. It's a legend perfectly with the interactive concept. By the way, have you ever considered how a man, a real vehicle, and VR technology could enhance the educational experience? Peter, listen to this. It's a natural sounds and beats. This could be an eco-friendly project. It's like a reason of nature reclaiming this place. This will inspire. This piece tells the stories. This piece. This piece tells the stories we want to the world where urge each of our uh, the chapter of our dreams. Hello. You transform education into verbal art. It's a masterpiece. Excellent. Good. Peter, this is a more than invention. OK, you know? OK, thank you, Leo. And this, 
and your music bring light to this project. This is a heartbeat of change. Together, we've created a symphony of our innovation and hope. I want to go! Thank you! Why don't we take all your map? It's going to be hot today. Uh, I just feel better with it on. Juju, is everything okay? We are friends. Talk to us. During online classes, I got conscious of how I look. I feel ugly without filters. And now, even after the pandemic, I'm afraid to chat with others without my max on. Maybe you have appearance anxiety. Appearance anxiety? What is that? Appearance anxiety refers to someone who is extremely self-conscious about the way they look, especially in recent years because of COVID-19. Everyone has been wearing masks, and appearance anxiety has become more and more commonplace. I know there are three important ways we can keep in mind to help people with this problem. First, boost confidence through kindness. Second, be positive, erase insecurities. Third, empower not compare. Finally, Juju bravely opened up to us about her appearance anxiety. We listened and comforted her, try our best to encourage her. Thank you guys for listening to me. I feel better now. I'm so happy to hear that. I've got an idea. There are many people around us have appearance anxiety. After we are getting used to wear masks for a long time during COVID-19, they need help too. How about we make a website to help them out? A website where people can always find someone to talk to. That's a great idea. Let's start. First of all, I think we should make a private chat box where people can talk to doctors and share their thoughts freely. And we can collaborate with doctors to gather suggestions and create videos that raise awareness and promotes cares about appearance anxiety. And the website should look friendly and inviting to encourage people to share their problems. Great. Let's come up with a name that can show what our website is all about. Mm, how about mirror? It's like when you look into the mirror, you can see the real you. And we can also share our website with other schools or communities, so more people can know about support we are offering. Student by student, school by school, and community by community. We can truly make a difference. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I'm not the fairest of them all. I'm so ugly and anxious. What shall I do? Go to mirror. But you're a mirror, aren't you? No, the mirror I say is an online platform mirror. Mirror, the ultimate solution to conquer appearance anxiety. Boost confidence, share kindness. Be positive, erase insecurities. Mirror is here with you. Look at this promotional video. Mirror, maybe it can help me. Hi there, how's it going? That's great, doctor. I just feel weird about how I look. Got it. Sometimes we all feel a bit off. Tell me more about it. I don't know. I'm just not happy with myself. No worries. Let's try this. Instead of focusing on what you don't like, what's something about yourself you appreciate? It could be small. Well, I think I'm a good listener. That's awesome. See, you've got stress. Let's build on that. Small steps, OK? We'll work on boosting that confidence. You are not alone in this journey. Welcome to Taiwan's Youth Talk Show. Today, we're shining a light on something incredible, Mira. Asian students are ditching next, and doctors we need consultation exploded from 100 to 10,000. Our amazing guest today, Dr. Winnie. Sabrina, the force behind Mira, and Angelina, who kicked appearance anxiety to the curb. Sabrina, why Mira? Hi, I'm Sabrina. We chose Mira 
because we believe in wiping away doubt and letting inner beauty shine. Incredible, Sabrina! And Angelina, tell us about your journey. Hi, everyone. Thanks to Mira, I found a confidence I never knew I had. How about Dr. Winnie? How do you feel about Mira? I'm so glad to help people on Mira. Mira's impact is huge, empowering adolescents to tackle society's challenges post-pandemic. Tune in tomorrow, same time. Bye-bye. Youngsters, your power to make a difference is real. It's so cold today. Uh, looks like I'm the first to arrive again. Why am I here? Well, we have a chance to present our culture and talents to the world. And look, they are late again. OK, so here comes Stella and Mike. I know I can count on Stella. She really wants to bring us to the national stage. And Mike, at least he's here. Where's Olivia? Is it a time to start already? Yes, it is, Olivia. So, tell me, what happened this time? You overslept again? Forget an umbrella and Why have to... Why are you getting so worked up, Brian? It's just some silly school activity. This contest gives us the opportunity to shine. How can you not care? OK, OK, chill, guys. Last time, we decided that the topic should be music. Now, the question is, do we go with classical or modern? Yeah, music connects people. When the melody catches your heart, people come together. Okay, mm so we got our idea, but what actually is our message, huh? How playing a musical bit as a young diplomat help us win it? Mm, music is the soul of culture. Everyone is talking about semiconductors and stuff, but we have to show that not only engineers have the chance to be recognized, Taiwanese artists are getting noticed too. Yeah, let's just do what Brian said. Hey, the music from the Japanese rolling era was a hit, when traditional Chinese music meets the Western one. What? We haven't discussed anything, and here's come up the final decision? That's ridiculous. <sighs> to be honest, if I had to choose, I would prefer modern music. The traditional one is just too outdated. Haven't you seen any of the Hollywood musicals? It's always the modern music. Yeah, modern music does have more technique. It creates a big That's all great. But the traditional one shows our roots, where we come from, our history, our culture. The topic is about Taiwanese youth prospects, not Americans. Oh, Stella, be open-minded. We live in the present, not the past. You are focusing on the scenes. That doesn't match our daily life. I still can't forget oh the time God. when you did at first place. I'm so in the emotion. Wake up, Stella. Come back to our reality. Modern music has more energy, more kick to it. It's something you can dance to. It makes you move your body without even thinking about it. Well, but that's just pop music. It's not Taiwanese. Uh, forget about it. Whatever. I don't care, but I'm with Mike. Hey guys, stop this crap. We don't have time for this. We only have one more week to work on this. You guys are so dramatic. Nobody's more dramatic than you, Ice Queen. If you're such a smart cookie, then go play your own music. Well, of course, be a diva, walk away. I swear, this is pointless. We'll never get anywhere. See, this is one of the problems of our generation. Everyone wants to be right. But why can't they put their pride aside and work together? Hey, together. Put them together when modern meets past. Hey, 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 guys, guys, we're all in this together. Why not we use both of them? What do you mean, both? My idea is better. Yeah, both your ideas are really great. So let's just use both. Yeah, he's right. We can use an AI make a fusion mix. OK, maybe let's get that music app and try. Come on. Play some games. No, 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 no games no, right no, now. Games. Uh, OK, uh, 
add never gonna give you up and uh yue hua into and blend it. Okay. Uh, a little longer over here and a little shorter over here and are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. What do you think? Does it actually sound pretty good? Well, I must admit, the traditional adds a bit of originality to it. Can't deny that the modern adds a bit of life to it as well. See, if we stop bickering for a second and listen to each other, we can think of a really good plan, like this. And we all care. Finally, after three years, things are getting back to normal, and we are all hungry to grab the opportunities that are opening to us. And you know what? If we keep working together, we all can! Three, two, one. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Nana is going on a volunteer holiday in Eswatini now. Nice to meet you. I'm a high school student from Taiwan. This is my first time visiting here. Saubona. Greetings from Eswatini. We welcome you with open arms. I'm a student too. I've always been curious about how students take their classes during the severe pandemic. In Taiwan, we can use tablets to study at home. Although we live in the post-pandemic era now, this way of learning didn't disappear with the virus. Instead, it makes our learning more diverse. That sounds amazing. But tablets are a luxury for us. If you want to learn, the only way is to go to school. What's worse, schools sometimes shut down just because of serious floods. I can't imagine that situation if it happens in Taiwan. How I wish my child could receive better education and had knowledge to improve her future. I don't want her to do low-wage labor work like me. As the proverb says, knowledge is power. You are so lucky to have a good learning environment. Don't worry. After I come back to Taiwan, I can ask my sister. Maybe she can figure out perfect solutions for you. Nana comes back to Taiwan. Welcome back. How's the volunteer holiday in Eswatini? I've experienced a lot during my volunteer holiday. But a friend of mine in Eswatini mentioned that they often miss school lessons due to the severe floods. If students there had tablets, they could learn at home. Unfortunately, they can't afford to buy tablets. It's a luxury in their country. I would like to do something for them. Any suggestions? Mm. In that case, how about launching an event to collect secondhand tablets for them? We can share for our classmates, our friends, and even the whole community. After all, Taiwan is a technology island. Most people upgrade their electronic devices in a short time. It is likely that they may have extra tablets. In addition, those tablets may still function well. Great! Let's do it! One year later, Nana came back to Eswatini with Dorothy. It's been a year since we last met. How's everything? This time, my sister comes with me. We bring some gifts to you and your community. Guess what? Pineapple cakes? I can't wait to have some. My mouth is watery. No, no, no. It's not what you think. We have already collected some second-hand tablets from Taiwan. At first, I thought that it's just a piece of cake. Nevertheless, it's not as easy as I thought before. I tried my best to persuade people that it will make a difference if we donate spare tablets as Watini. Finally, our heart paid off. We made it. Thanks a million. Can you show us how to operate it? Of course. Let me show you. With the tablet, you can serve on internet at all times and log in e-learning courses you are interested in. You see? Sophia is learning how to use the tablet now. Wow, it's astonishing. From now on, I can learn at home even if the school is closed. Thanks to these tablets, there are a variety of free courses online for me to choose. I can't wait to start my e-learning right now. Mm, 
Apart from the learning purposes, what can tablets use for? Speaking of recreational functions, you can use tablets to watch some interesting video clips on YouTube, and you can even film a short video clip on your own. Fantastic! I would like to introduce Mossy Cynic Spots and our unique traditions to people around the world. My dream of becoming a traveling YouTuber may come true in the near future. Ngia Bonga! I don't know how to express my sincere gratitude. Hot Your Fitness is not just an electronic device, but hope and future for our kids. My pleasure. I used to think these tablets were just daily necessities in Taiwan after I visited here. However, I knew that I have done something right that can make Esatini a better place. These secondhand tablets can not only play an important role in Esatini's education, but also reduce e-waste in Taiwan. It's a win-win situation. Through donating tablets to Eswatini, we can make education more accessible and affordable. Everyone should have equal right to learn no matter where you come from or who you are. Together, we make life better!